uh, James Reynolds, the valiant human knight in Grimble. His steadfast dwarf companion have rallied the support of humans, halflings, elves, dwarves, and half orcs to fight against Dark Prince Malgathar, and his second in command, Draven Darkbane in the Enchanted Forest. Joining them in this epic battle are Alara Brightwater, the human cleric, Turek Bloodfury, the half orc sorcerer, Lyra Windrunner, the elven ranger, and Tully Bramblefoot, the halfling rogue. Uh, Tully's rogue skills and Alara's cleric spells clashed against Draven Darkbane. As Tully, the resourceful rogue, and Alara, the devout cleric, face off against Draven Darkbane, the battlefield becomes a flurry of steel and magic. Tully moves with stealth and precision, his daggers flashing as he strikes from the shadows, while Alara calls upon the divine power of her faith to unleash holy spells upon their foe. Draven Darkbane, a skilled warrior in his own right, meets their combined assault with a combination of strength and cunning. His dark blade flashes in the sunlight as he parries Tully's strikes, while Alara's spells are deflected by his dark magic. But Tully and Alara refuse to be deterred, their determination unyielding as they press forward in their battle against the forces of darkness. Tully uses his rogue's agility to evade Draven's attacks, striking from unexpected angles with lethal precision, while Alara channels the power of her faith to bolster their defenses and weaken their enemy. As the battle rages on, Tully and Alara begin to gain the upper hand, their relentless assault wearing down Draven's defenses and forcing him into a defensive standing. With each strike of Tully's daggers and blast of Alara's spells, they edge closer to victory, their resolve unshakable in the face of adversity. All of a sudden, Draven's spell fired, and both Tully and Alara fell to the ground. As Draven's spell suddenly fires, catching Tully and Alara off guard, both warriors are thrown to the ground, their bodies racked with pain as the dark magic courses through their veins. Tully's rogue instincts kick in, and he tries to push through the pain, struggling to rise to his feet and continue the fight. Meanwhile, Alara, the cleric, grits her teeth against the agony, her hands trembling as she tries to summon the strength to cast a healing spell to aid herself and her companion. But even as they struggle to recover, Draven Darkbane presses his advantage, his dark blade flashing as he moves in to deliver the finishing blow. With a fierce determination, he lashes out at Tully and Alara, his attacks fueled by malice and dark magic. Desperate to defend themselves, Tully and Alara fight back with all their remaining strength, their weapons clashing against Dravens with a deafening din. Despite their injuries and the overwhelming power of their adversary, they refuse to give up, their spirits unbroken as they continue to battle against the forces of darkness. But as Draven's onslaught continues, it becomes increasingly clear that Tully and Alara are outmatched, their bodies weakened by the dark magic coursing through their veins, they struggle to keep pace with their foe, their movements growing slower and more sluggish with each passing moment. Just when it seems that all hope is lost, the three sisters, who had been watching closely, raise their hands. A sudden surge of the energy courses through Tully and Alara's bodies, filling them with renewed strength and vitality. With a cry of determination, they rise to their feet once more, their resolve unshaken as they prepare to face their foe head-on. With their newfound strength and determination, Tully and Alara fight back with renewed vigor, their attacks landing with greater force and precision than ever before. Draven Darkbane, taken aback by their sudden resurgence, finds himself on the defensive, struggling to keep pace with their relentless assault. Just as Draven's about to deliver the death blow to Tully, he got shot with Lyra's arrow. As Draven Darkbane raises his dark blade for the final, devastating blow against Tully, his eyes gleaming with malice, a sudden twang fills the air. Before he can react, an arrow streaks through the chaos of battle, piercing through Draven's defenses and embedding itself deep in his side. Lyra defeated the panther, rushed in for the rescue. So with a startled cry, Draven stumbles backward, his grip on his blade faltering as he clutches at the arrow jutting from his flesh. The force of the impact sends shockwaves of pain radiating through his body, causing him to stagger and lose his footing for a crucial moment. Seizing the opportunity, Tully springs into action, his rogue instincts taking over as he launches himself forward with lightning speed. With a swift and precise strike, he delivers a punishing blow to Draven's already wounded form, his dagger finding its mark with deadly accuracy. Meanwhile, Alara, the cleric, channels the power of her faith, summoning divine energy to aid her companions in their moment of need. So with a prayer on her lips and a wave of her hand, she sends healing energy coursing through Tully's veins, bolstering his strength and renewing his resolve to fight on. As Draven reels from the combined assault, his dark aura flickering and fading under the onslaught of Lyra's arrows and Tully's dagger, he realizes with dawning horror that he has underestimated his adversaries with their combined strength and determination. 
They have turned the tide of battle against him. With a defiant roar, Draven gathers the last of his strength, his dark blade flashing as he launches one final, desperate attack against his foes. But even as he lunges forward, his movements slow and unsteady, his strength waning with each passing moment. And then, with a final, decisive strike, Tully delivers the finishing blow, his dagger finding its mark with unerring precision. With a choked gasp, Draven Darkbane collapses to the ground, defeated at last by the combined might of James and his allies. Uh, this is the end of episode 11. Please come back for more adventures and don't forget to subscribe.